Beloved Masters, it is a time of accountability, a time of testing, and it is decision time. Each of you must decide whom and what you will believe, the doomsayers, those who have dominated and controlled you for thousands upon thousands of years, and who have kept you enslaved in various ways through fear and intimidation. You have been coerced to believe that you must accept certain specific teachings as God's only truth, that you must fear God, for the Creator is a God of wrath, a God of judgment who created a horrendous eternal fire of damnation for those who have not been saved through dispensation by an earthly appointed representative of God. Or will you choose to remove your earthbound shackles and reclaim your God-given power and spiritual sovereignty? Are you brave enough to step out into the unknown as you put us in our teachings to the test? You are being given an unprecedented opportunity to become a student of the advanced ascended masters' teachings which in past ages were reserved for only the elite and most advanced disciples. A divine dispensation has been declared, and all you have to do is say yes to your soul self so that we can assist you in the transformation process as we gently guide you along the path of ascension. This grand opportunity is being offered to those of you who have steadfastly stayed the course, striving to become worthy vessels for the full-spectrum metatronic light of creation. You are the transducers of this wondrous elixir and it must flow through you, the light workers, before it can be radiated via the sacred breathing techniques down into the core of the earth and out into the world. This rarefied gift must come into and through human vessels which have been prepared to accept, integrate, and share the creator light. It must be mixed with the earth essence as well as human essence and loving intention before it can be radiated out into the world and made available to those human beings who have stepped onto the path of enlightenment and are following behind you. Have we not called you sentinels of light? Too many of you are carrying great burdens from the past, mistakes you have made in this lifetime, and also many from past conditioning and buried memories of painful events or actions from all your previous lifetimes. You are holding on to these memories or carrying the burdens of inequity which no longer serve you. It is time for you to allow us to help you heal the painful memories stored within your physical vessel and auric field, just as we are clearing the distortions of the third and fourth dimensional collective consciousness belief patterns and bringing those dimensions back into their originally designed spectrum of duality. Many of you are rapidly becoming multidimensional. You are grounded in the higher third and fourth dimensional reality and you are tapping into the vital, transforming vibrational patterns of the fifth dimension via your pyramid of light, and you are regularly being given an infusion of adamantine particles via the cities of light. These are critical times and, more than ever, it is vitally important that you stay centered within your sacred heart and attuned to the wisdom of your sacred mind. Beloveds, we are asking you to focus on yourselves so you can become clear vessels for the refined frequencies of light. You have the ability to become conduits for the adamantine particles of Creator Light which will permeate your physical vessel and then flow out into the world of form. However, you must liberate the power of the sacred fire from within your physical vessel, while drawing forth a new supply via the cities of light. The breath is the conductor of this vital life force energy. You must learn to use and perfect the perfect rhythm of sacred breathing. The infinity breath is a vital component of the transformational process. Over the coming months, we will be adding more important components to the advanced techniques we have already given you, components which will allow you to more effectively use and share this marvelous gift of love slash light slash life. We ask you to envision the violet flame radiating up from beneath your feet and completely enfolding you in this vital energy of transmutation which will speed up the process of transforming all impure substance within and around you as well as giving you protection from outside, negative influences. We have explained that you have a divine birthright and many riches are awaiting your return as a beloved offspring of the Creator. Strategically placed throughout the universe are pyramids of light where fragments of your divine self reside as they go about fulfilling their divine mission in harmony with the Creator's divine blueprint. The qualities, attributes, virtues, wisdom and experience they embody will also be yours when you return to their level of electromagnetic radiation and perfection as you merge with each wondrous facet of yourself in the future. In addition, you came into this lifetime with a supply of creator light, adamantine particles, stored within your sacred heart. However, 
we have not explained to you that a portion of adamantine particles were also placed within the center of each chakra encased within a membrane of light, and there is a larger portion stored at the base of the spine within the first chakra which has been called the Kundalini or Sacred Fire. You have had ready access to the God particles stored within you heart core, however, the only way they could slash can be activated is via the vibrational patterns of unconditional love. Therefore, there are millions of dear souls who have never felt the pure love of the Creator via the Diamond Core God Cell within their sacred heart, and they have never had access to this precious gift of love slash light slash life. As you clear the distorted thought forms and vibrational patterns of negativity, you gradually return to center, thereby achieving an accepted level of balance and harmony via your energetic signature. There comes a time when an energetic trigger of higher vibrational frequencies will activate the sacred fire stored within the root chakra, and it slowly begins to rise up the spinal column. This wondrous phenomenon is called opening the seven seals to God consciousness. Gradually each chakra throws off the distorted frequencies of the past as it slowly begins to spin faster and in harmony one with another. The kundalini fire slowly rises up into and through each chakra until the spinal column becomes a column of fiery light which is clearly visible to those with inner eye vision. As this fire reaches the medulla oblongata, it opens wide the ascension chakra, gives access to the sacred mind, and expands the column of light by which you are connected to your God Self or I Am Presence. Many dear souls own an abundance of earthly possessions, but they are spiritually bankrupt. They refuse to take heed of the nudgings of their soul self and, therefore, like rebellious children, they must experience the painful cause and effect results of their irresponsible actions. The negative thought forms of humanity, past and present, have created the imperfect world you now live in, however, nothing or no one can alter the universal divine plan except our Father slash Mother God. You must remember that for these many past ages, Almost every soul born on the physical plane has been caught up in the collective consciousness belief system of the third slash fourth dimensions, whereby the core issues from the past and the imperfections within each person's ancestral DNA have allowed many symptoms to manifest when a person fell into the trap of feeling unloved, unworthy, or felt guilt, shame or resentment in any form. All these negative energies are a result of deep core memories from your ancient past rising to the surface so you can release them once and for all. No one can escape the energies of transformation. You can deny the truth of the dramatic changes that are now affecting the earth and all humanity, but you cannot hide or escape for the light of transformation will seek you out wherever you are. Blessed are those who heed the inner voice of spirit as it grows louder and more persistent. Isn't it better to heed the voice of wisdom and hope instead of the voice of desperation and despair? Your isolation within the solar system and galaxy is over. The cities of light are now firmly in place around the earth and creator light is being beamed directly to earth from the great central sun of this universe, as well as filtered to earth via you the star seed, as we explained previously. The great beings of light are sending forth the twelve refracted god rays which radiate the tones and vibrations that contain the geometric patterns of light consisting of the virtues, qualities and attributes of creator consciousness. Can you not see that this is what we have been preparing you for and what we are assisting as many of you as possible to attain? Turn inward and listen to your soul song. It will grow louder and more distinguishable as you become sensitive to the music of the spheres. Your sacred heart is pure and resonates with only the highest truth and unconditional love. When you are heart-centered and soul-focused, negativity from any source cannot affect or harm you. Please be aware that you do not have to die to get a glimpse of the future and the heavenly realms. Many of you have seen or experienced the orbs of light that are appearing all over the world at this time. There is much conjecture as to what these orbs consist of and their meaning. Just as many of you came to earth in an orb of light as the planet was being prepared for human inhabitation, many of the great beings of light are coming from far distant universes as observers of the miraculous transformation process that is now in progress on earth. In order to be comfortable in the density of the lower dimensions, without going through the process of fragmenting themselves many times, they travel in what could be called light orbs which contain the frequencies of the heavenly environment slash dimension from which they came. Have we not said that we are making ourselves more accessible to you? Can you not feel our presence more strongly? Time is of the essence, 
and the winds of change will blow even more strongly as the bursts and pulsations of creator light intensify via the great central sun, the suns of each solar system and the celestial cities of light. We will close this missive with some thoughts which we hope you will contemplate and, if they ring true, you will integrate and include in your spiritual practices. Infinity Breath, in many ways, you are creating a circular pattern for the light of spirit to follow, thereby opening the connection between the sacred heart, sacred mind, and the pineal center. Practice breathing as you make a small infinity sign from the sacred mind to the medulla oblong gata, thereby fully opening the ascension chakra at the base of the skull and further opening the passageway between the sacred mind and the sacred heart. Aum is the sacred sound of creation. Auh is the sound of the sacred heart. OM is the sound of the sacred mind. As a self-master you have the ability to bring forth the full spectrum metatronic light vertically into your physical body which is radiated forth from within the mind of our Father God via the five higher rays of cosmic consciousness. This pure light is then activated by the pure love essence of our Mother God within the chamber or womb of the sacred heart and sent forth horizontally out into the world of form. With your clear loving intention and focused thought you now have the ability to create anything you can envision. Divine economy is cosmic law in action. The ego mind manifestations result in creations of friction and duality. Many old concepts, rules and structures are fading away, for they have been created with the frequencies of duality, greed, fear and scarcity. When you align your will with divine will for the greatest good, Whatever you manifest will have the frequencies of love and positive expansion, therefore, you will magnetize to you the designs from within the blueprint of the future. We ask you, what is your vision for yourself, your loved ones, your country, and the world? Make no mistake, what you think, feel, and believe is important, for your vibrations of intention either add to the problems of earth and humanity or add to the collective thought form of hope, inspiration, and victory over the pain suffering and chaos of the third slash fourth dimensional world know that we the angelic forces under the direction of our father slash mother god stand steadfastly beside you when you sense we are near trust your feelings for in truth we are beaming our love slash light into your auric field listen to the whisperings of your soul for it will unerringly assist you in following the best course of action and help you to make the wisest choices you are loved most profoundly.